before we get started with today's video, I'd like to say thank you guys so much for helping me reach 417 subscribers. And thank you guys for helping me reach 220,000 views on YouTube. I want to say thank you guys so much for all that you do for my channel and watching all my videos. I want to say thank you guys so much for helping me reach this point now and to appreciate that i want to make this video for you guys today because i thought it'd be fun and i think you guys would really like it so let's get started with the first figure from the real ghostbusters toy line bug eye ghost so let's get to it Ghostbusters eat sold separately from Kenner. So let's take a closer look up at Bug Eye Ghost. So as you guys see right here, he has been hole punched. And this is the I think the second variant or the first variant. Cause for the other ones that I've reviewed here on the channel, my Stay Puff and Slimer on the left hand corner said who you're gonna call. And I know for the other four Ghostbusters, it said on the left hand corner who you're gonna call. But the ones that I got didn't say that. And this one right here, Bug Eye Ghost and Fearsome Flush, doesn't say that at all, which is fine in my opinion because it really doesn't matter i'm just actually glad to have the toy and the card so as you guys see right here it says the real ghostbusters bug eye ghost figure and right there it says shoots his cyclops eye four and up and i really like this art that they gave bug eye ghost and I love the style of this packaging. It really screams the 80s and 90s. And this actually looks like a figure from the 80s and 90s of the real Ghostbusters from 1984. It is really awesome because it looks exactly the same. And I would like to give Hasbro a really good accomplishment on making this look like the one from the 80s and 90s so as you guys see right here bug eye ghost is purple and i like that it shows that it's shooting out his eye with the hole in his head and the eyes shooting out with the red veins and the green and the black pupil right there what i really like the eyes on there and I really like the white teeth and the tongue so as you guys see right here on the top of the packaging the color is per really dark purple and then when you get closer to the bottom it's light purple and right there it says Kenner and then here is the Bug Eye Ghost figure, as you guys can see here, which will open up him in a second here. So, let me switch Bug Eye Ghost around so you guys can see what the back of the packaging looks like. So, let's take a closer look at the back side of the Bug Eye Ghost figure from Hasbro. So as you guys see right here, it said the real Ghostbusters join the real Ghostbusters in their ghost chasing pursuits. And then I can see that there's a piece of plastic that they put behind there to keep it protected when it was on those uh, holders, holder displays at Walmart, which is super nice. And I really like that. Hasbro added that detail to keep the box getting ruined and from the toy getting ruined. So here it says Bug Eye Ghost Instructions. And I really do like that uh, 
picture right there where it's showing you how to make his eye go flying, which is really cool. And right here it says to pop out eyeball, hit bug eye on middle back, replace cord by pushing entire cord back into hole inside eye socket, then push eye back into socket. And then here's another picture of him holding his eye. And it says bug eye can hold his own eyeball, which is super cool. And then it says collect all the real Ghostbusters toys. And right here in this picture, here's Fearsome Flush, which is the other toy that we're going to be taking a look at today that I was very happy to find at Walmart. And if I haven't said already, these are Walmart exclusives, and I'm super happy to have these in my Hasbro's re-release of Kenner the Real Ghostbusters, and I'm also trying to collect the Kenner the Real Ghostbusters from 1984. So right here, here's Fearsome Flush, and here's the picture of him rolled backward or forward to reveal a fearsome ghost and I really do like that action feature right there in the picture. I really do like that. And right here, here's another toy from the Hasbro's re-release of Canada the Real Ghostbusters toy line. We got the Ecto-1 vehicle. Get ready to roll into your own ghostly adventures comes with the, the ghost winder which and then it says right there each sold separately subject to availability and i really do like this real release of the ecto one i am still hunting for that so be on the lookout for this video coming here sometime soon hopefully if i can find it I know it's going around for 40 to $50. I'll be definitely adding this to the collection when I can find it at Walmart. So I'm gonna keep a lookout at my Walmart to see when this toy will be coming in. And then moving down right here, there's another picture of the Bug Eye Ghost. And it says right there, Bug Eye Ghost hit on the middle back for eye popping action. And right there, there's the Kenner logo. Then there's that if you guys want to read it. The Proof of Purchase Bug Eye Ghost, which I've seen lots of toy lines have where you cut these out. And then you, if you send away back then a whole bunch of these, you would get like cool prizes. But they don't do that nowadays, which I wish they would have done nowadays because that would really remind me of the 80s and 90s and then right there there's the hasbro logo so let me flip this figure around and let's get to opening up this bug eye ghost from the real ghostbusters toy line so before we get to opening him i like to say that you guys for if you guys want to keep your uh, card in really good condition, you guys should open up your uh, Hasbro's really so can roll Ghostbuster toys with the X-Acto knife. And you have to be super careful not to ruin the packaging or the toy. So, let's get to opening up Bug Eye Ghost. As you guys... Uh, see right here here is bug eye ghost i really like all the colors on him it really makes him vibrant and i really really do like it so as you guys see right here there is the big eye right here and then there's his eyes right here this eye right here is kind of like Kind of silly looking. And then this. And there's his other eye. 
And I really like that there's teeth right there. Then there's his mouth. I really like that he has like horns right here. And the big eye in the middle. And his eyes and his nose and his mouth and the teeth showing. I really do like that. And I really do like these uh, arms right here. Turning him around to this side. There he is from this side. And turning this to the back side. Here, this is what it looks like from the top viewpoint right here. It really does look like a face. You guys see right here, here's the eyes, there's the nose, and then there's like the mouth. I really do like the texture on him and all the detail they put into this figure because it's really nice. And I really look like, I really like that they put a face right there. That looks really cool. Turn him around to this side. There he is from this side. And then there's from the front side again. But let's turn him back side of him basically it's also the front side and then the other side that's the back side so it says tm and c 2021 columbia pictures industries all rights reserved so there's the back side of his uh front right there so now let's get into the features and the movement and all that so yes his arms do go up and down i think they can go 360 if you wanted them to yeah they can and then you can put it back the other way if you want it be you guys see that it does have 360 and their arm articulation is really good and they really did a good sculpting on his and, and for the other arm, it's the same thing. You can make it go all the way 360 if you really wanted to with this arm right here, as you guys see. Or just make it go back the other way. And I really do like all the lines on here. And like all the veins on there, I really do like that. And another thing I'd like to point out is that he is super squishy. This is where the fun part comes in. And yeah, you can take out his uh, eyeball. So that's what it looks like inside. But as you guys see that the eyeball pops out basically with the string attached to him that goes inside. Which I'll show you guys that in a second. But here is the eyeball and I really do like the veins and the blue, the green and blue. And then the black pupil right there. I really do like this as you guys see. And it is made out of a plastic material. And you can see that the string attaches uh, to it right there. As you guys see, there's like a little tube right there. And there's where the rope goes in. Or the string or rope, you want to call it. But yeah, there's like the rope right there. If you were to, if you were to look inside, that's what it would... Uh, look like there's this big hole right here in the little hole right there and then you can just take this you could put the eyeball back so you just want to put the string back into there in that little hole and then just put the eyeball back to where it was just like that and then if you wanted to, for the picture of uh, posing him, you can just very gently just pop out the eyeball and just set it in his hand. 
It almost looks like he's gonna throw his own eyeball at you, pretty much. But, uh, yeah. There's the eyeball for you guys. So, that takes care of Bug Eye Ghost. So, let's move on to the next Ghostbusters figure in the Twilight Line. Scare. scare Ghostbusters! Thank you! You will go quickly! Say, I need a rest! Roar! It's fair some fun! Sick him, guys! Go! I flip my lid when he's scared! Ah! The real Ghostbusters! Who from Canada? Blast him! Ah! The, the second one we're gonna be taking a look at today is Fearsome Flush. So let's take a closer look up at him. So as you guys see right here, the, it says the real Ghostbusters for and up. And then as you guys can see, it's not, it's hole punched. It's not been unpunched, it's punched. But there is a uh, fearsome flush right there. I really do love the artwork. And right there, it says fearsome flush. TM action toy. Roll to open and close lids and reveal a fearsome ghost. And then there's the action feature right there. There's a picture of it. And then there's fearsome flush right there. There is the Kenner logo right there. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. Turn it around to this side. You guys can uh, get a better look at what Fearsome Flush looks like from this side of the package, or the box. But yeah, there's a Fearsome Flush, and you can uh, see the eyeballs popping out there, and the tongue popping out of the lid right there, which we'll get to in here in a second. But there is the front side of the packaging. It says... Fearsome Flush instructions. One push, Fearsome Flush, and then there's a TM next to it. Forward and backward, lids open and close to reveal a ghost. And it shows you how to do that, which I'll show you guys the action feature here in a second when we unpackage it. But that's what it looks like there in the picture, which I really do like. So right here, it says proof of purchase. Fearsome flush that you could cut out if you want to, but personally, I'm not going to. And I'll even on the bug eye ghost, I'm not going to. But the only difference here is that it says fearsome flush when the other one said bug eye ghost. So let me unbox him or unpackage him, and I'll be right back. So, as you guys see right here, here is fearsome flush. I really do like what Hasbro did with this figure and updated it. I really do like that. So here it's like a toilet. And I really do like that Ghostbusters uh, symbol that's on it right there, if you guys can see that. So this is what it looks like from up above. Then turn him around to this side. So this is what it looks like from that side. And then here's the back. Then here's this side. And then if we Turn it onto its uh, back side, if you guys can see it right here. Hasbro SATM and C2021. Then 2021 Hasbro made in China, right there. And as you guys can see it right here, here is the wheels. So now let's take a look at the fright feature or you could call it like the action feature. 
this is what it does. So as you guys see right here, this is what fearsome flush looks like. It has like big eyes and stuff like that. I really do like that. I do like all the colors on it. That's purple, yellow, and red. And as you guys see right here, there is the tongue. And around the tongue, it's like on the toilet lid, basically. It's yellow. And then on the front toilet lid, it's like purple. I really do like all the vibrant colors on it and I really do like all the textures and I really do like that they gave him like teeth and a tongue and then that purple gooey stuff right there on the toilet lid you guys can see that's what it looks like from the front up here and I really do like that Ghostbusters uh logo on that toilet lid right there yeah overall i really love this toy and i like that the eyes are like red purple and white i really do like all those colors and it's just really fun playing with this toy because it goes up and down you guys can see right here Either you can have it in this feature right here, as you guys can see, or you can have it like this. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed Bug Eye Ghost and Fearsome Plush and that it brought back memories from the past. If you guys remember getting these in the past or seeing them at a store. I am super happy that Hasbro re-released the Karen the Roll Ghostbuster characters. And I can't wait to see what they come up next. And I will be trying to hunt down the Ecto-1 so we can do a review on that. But what I've gone here so far is the Bug Eye Ghost and Fearsome Flush, which I'm super very excited about. And if you guys are wondering how much I paid for them... I paid $15 for the Bug Eye Ghost, and I paid $11 and like 30 cents or something like that because I was on clearance, which is really nice. And I'm just super happy to add these two ghosts to my, to my Ghostbusters collection. And I think they're a great piece to add to anybody's collection. And... I'm super, super, super happy that I have them. So, thank you guys so much for watching this review today. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a good day today. And I want to say thank you guys for all your help and support and I really do like reading your comments and responding to them. Thank you all so much for subscribing. And thank you for all the views. And please like and subscribe. And hit that bell notification to be, and be notified when I upload a new video. I just want to say thank you guys so much for everything that you do and support me and everything. And I'll see you guys next time on Pugo News Around the World. Bye.